Hi, how are you? This is Brando and this time I will talk to you about the tense past perfect continuous. Past perfect continuous is one of the perfect forms we have in English and I'll explain to you how to conjugate it, how to use it, when to use it, why to use it, how to use it, who to use it with and everything. <laughs> okay? So, the past perfect continuous tense is used, uh, imagine that you have two actions in the past, okay? The one that happened first, imagine that if it, imagine that it, it just finished before the other one, uh, uh, and before the other one, yes. So uh, that's the one that has to be with past perfect continuous. I'll give you some examples, don't worry about it. The way you use it is, uh, you take the personal pronoun, then you take the auxiliary had, it has to be in past, then you uh, put the verb to be in present, uh, in, in participle, sorry, in past participle, and then the main verb of the sentence in ing form, and then the complement. Imagine that I say, I woke up, looked out the window, and the, window, and the, the, the streets were wet. That's because it had been raining, okay? I woke up. Before that, something else happened, but it, it, it finished right, uh, right before I woke up, okay? It, uh, it had been raining. The time between the raining stopping and me waking up uh, wasn't like wasn't that much, okay? But the rain, the raining uh, happened before me waking up. Let me give you another example. Uh, when the boys came into the house, their clothes were dirty, their hair was untidy, and one of them had a black eye. Uh, they had been fighting. Okay, that's something that happened before they got home, and it it didn't uh, it didn't happen a long time before. Another one. I was very tired when I got ho when I got home. That's because I had been running hard because I had been running uh, for a long time. I uh, another one. When I went to Madrid a few years ago, I stayed with a friend of mine. She hadn't been living there very long but she knew the city very well. Remember that that's an action that happens before another one, but not a long time before, okay? The way you conjugate it, the way you create, you conjugate uh, phrases with the, conjugate this, with this tense is the following affirmative. You say, I had been going, you had been going, she had been going. He had been going, it had been going, we had been going, they had been going. In negative, I hadn't been going, you hadn't been going, she hadn't been going, he hadn't been going, we hadn't been going, they hadn't been going. In questions, had I been going, had you been going, had she been going, had he been going, had it been going, have, have, had we been going, had they been going. I hope this was useful for you. Thank you very much for paying attention. Remember, remember when to use this tense. It's a little bit tricky, uh, but it's very simple. <laughs> Thank you very much for paying attention again, and see you next time. Hola, soy Brando, y en esta ocasión les voy a hablar sobre el pasado perfecto continuo. El pasado perfecto continuo es una de las formas perfectas que tenemos en el inglés y les voy a explicar cómo usarlo, cuándo usarlo, con quién usarlo, por qué usarlo y todo, <ríe> ¿ok? La, la forma en la que se usa es la siguiente. Imagina que tienes dos acciones que, que terminaron en el pasado y la que terminó primero terminó no mucho antes que la segunda. Entonces, esa acción tienes que utilizarla con pasado perfecto, ¿ok? La forma en la que se estructura el pasado perfecto es con el pronombre personal, el auxiliar had, que es have en, en pasado, luego el verbo to be en participio y luego el verbo principal de la frase en ing, ¿ok? I had been going, ¿ok? And the, y luego el complemento. Entonces, por ejemplo, vete, aquí tengo una frase. I looked out the window, the, the streets were wet. 
That's because it had been raining. Uh, mire, afuera, la vent afuera de la ventana, la las calles estaban mojadas. Eso es porque había estado lloviendo. Okay? No mucho tiempo antes de que yo mirara por la ventana, eh, llovió. Entonces había estado lloviendo. O sea, es una acción que terminó no mucho antes de otra y ambas terminaron en el pasado. Eh, otro ejemplo. Uh, I was very tired when I got home. I had been working hard all day. Estaba muy cansado cuando llegué a la casa. Había estado trabajando muy duro todo el día. When the, bo when the boys came into the house, uh, their hair was untidy and one of them had a black eye. They had been fighting. Cuando los muchachos llegaron a la casa, su cabello estaba desarreglado y uno de ellos tenía un ojo morado. Ellos habían estado peleando. Okay. Esta es la forma en la que se utiliza el pasado perfecto continuo. Ahora les voy a hablar sobre las conjugaciones. En frases afirmativas se dice I had been going. Yo había estado yendo. You had been going. Tú habías estado yendo. She had been going. Ella había estado yendo. He had been going. Él había estado yendo. We, have been, we had been going. Nosotros habíamos estado yendo. They had been going. Ellos habían estado yendo. En negativo. I hadn't been going. Yo no había estado yendo. You hadn't been going, you no, tú no habías estado yendo. She hadn't been going, ella no había estado yendo. He hadn't been going, él no había estado yendo. We hadn't been going, nosotros no habíamos estado yendo. They hadn't been going, ellos, ustedes, ellos no habían estado yendo. Preguntas, sería, had I been going, yo había estado yendo. Had you been going, tú habías estado yendo. Had she been going, ella había estado yendo. Had he been going, él había estado yendo. Had we been going, nosotros habíamos estado yendo. Had they been going, ellos habían estado yendo. Esta es la fórmula que se utiliza este tiempo verbal. Ok, espero les haya sido muy útil. Y bueno, practiquen mucho para que lo puedan manejar de la forma correcta. Nos vemos en la próxima.